All right, guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing okay. And uh, today it's another beer review, but there's a little bit of a food pairing with it. And uh, I think you, well, you can tell by the title and the uh, the thumbnail. Um, I love donuts. Um, I know you'd be surprised with this slender figure that I have. And um, yeah, so I had to go to Asda because um, I was going to do myself um, a nice slow cooked chili con carne but i was going to use the chipotle porter from Mikola. but it's now currently about three o'clock in the afternoon so it's pointless to do a slow cooker uh, chili con carne at this time so i'm going to do that tomorrow morning not that it matters to you because it's already done it's already consumed and i may have got food poisoning you never know uh, actually no i'm a i'm a good cook i'd say and uh, yeah you'll have to excuse the scatty hair i was wearing my uh my brown beanie because i've become one of those people now and uh, it's messed my hair up plus this is the dr dry shampoo because uh i've got a couple of days off couldn't be asked really putting any effort in and uh yeah anyway so because i am a dirty stop out um i thought i would uh just cement that fact by uh because when i was when i was there i realized oh sugar i've got the harpoon duncan uh coffee porter now i don't know if this is actually brewed in collaboration with duncan donuts or if they've just taken uh that so it it's just saying like the duncan trademark logos and trade dress are the property of obviously Dunkin Donuts so I don't think they've got anything to do with this um just they've licensed out the uh the branding but I've heard so many people talking about this and uh I thought oh I might as well pick up some donuts and do a, a little video and that's what I'm going to do but we know it's not going to be little you can see by the the time stamp at the end of the video it's probably going to be a long one because you're watching an overweight disgusting person uh, probably going to have um, up to the point of arousal um, in this video whilst having beer and donuts so that's the beer in question uh harpoons duncan coffee porter got this uh with the beer 52 box for boston uh, which was the first box of 2019 and uh, i've just gone simple uh, these weren't the last time i did this sort of video when i paired donuts with uh, left-handed giant and um bruffy tit i can't remember what they're called it's the little owl brewery from um norway i want to say probably not the Clueless Eats playlist is down below where I've done a lot of, um, well, Clueless Eating. I can't remember what I call that sort of stuff, uh, but that was uh, pretty damn good. And for for store-owned donuts, um, Asda's were pretty damn good. And the best were, of course, the, uh, the chocolate ones. Now, you're probably thinking, you should have just gone with a simple glazed donut. Keep it slightly Dunkin' Donuts styly, but uh, no. I like the chocolate donuts, so uh, if you've got something to say, keep it to yourself. Anyway, so, obviously, link down below to the Beer 52 referral, because I'm a, I'm a shill. I'm an absolute shill. Anyway, so, I'm looking forward to this. I was going to do a Goza beer with uh, some... Uh, crisps and salsa that I bought but I might do that later while I'm watching a film who knows we shall see so anyway uh, lovely bubble on the top there let's see what we get with this one I believe it's coffee extract that they've used uh, in this beer but um, I've heard wonderful wonderful things about it so I'm looking forward to it um, I'm coming to the end of the the beers that I had in the box so most of them have been uploaded by now I would imagine so uh, go check them out because it's been an interesting box indeed so beer in a glass then and uh yeah that's a lovely dark brown color uh it's not jet black it's just a really dark intense brown color with just shy two fingers worth of a lovely beige colored head it's looking like you'd expect a porter to look like uh abv on this is let me see if i can find it um yeah, I can't actually find the ABV because I'm an idiot. 
But we all knew that anyway, so uh, no need to worry about that. Oh, 6% ABV, so it's a little bit heavier um, on the ABV than most porters. So, looks fantastic in the glass. So let's see what we get on the nose. Oh, you definitely get coffee in there. It's got that sort of like syrupy coffee, as if you put syrup in a coffee um, for coffee extract. So I'm not sure if coffee extract is actually from coffee or if it's sort of like um, it comes from something else, but it's just called coffee extract. I'm not too sure. So I'm not sure how, how authentic the coffee character is in this, but it's certainly smelling like it. It doesn't have any synthetic edge. There's a little bit of a vanilla sugar aroma as well. And yeah, you do get, and I know it's probably the power of persuasion, but you do get reminded of coffee and donuts on the nose. Gentle smokiness, subtle sweet roastiness, but yeah, it's smelling pretty damn good, so let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. That's a lovely simple coffee porter. Gets really quite savoury on the back end. The aftertaste is really quite intriguing, actually. I wasn't expecting that. But yeah, it's like you've just drank a black coffee, uh, the flavour on the back end. Very subtle sweetness in this. It's almost got like a cocoa powder vibe about it as well. A little bit of a lighter body than I would expect for a 6% porter. But it has that sort of like skimmed milk velvetiness about it. So it's not thin or watery or anything like that. It's a really solidly brewed porter with some really interesting flavours added in. And the coffee, it's almost got like that ground coffee flavour to it. Mm, I like that a lot. <coughs> and especially at this time of the year where it's really, well it's not really cold, but it's cold and wet. It's sort of like, it's comforting. So, uh, yeah, it's tasting really, really nice. I personally was expected to be a little bit more luxurious. Um, but, that being said, I'm not disappointed. Uh, it's got that almost like um, black currant espresso vibe to it as well. So, uh, yeah, it's tasting really, really good. So, of course, the most important... No, I'm joking. The beer is the most important part of this video. And I would probably end up eating all three of these donuts because uh, why not? Anyway, so there's the donut itself. Lovely stuff. So let's give it a taste. <laughs> They're not as soft as they probably should be. You know, they're not, they're not as, like, um, chewy. They are a little bit firmer, but it works so well with that cho chocolate uh, flavour. Mm. And there you get to that nice gooey part. Mm. I was going to lick it, but I'm not. I'm not that dirty. Mmm. That coffee fit. Coffee. That chocolate filling. And apologies I'm talking with my mouth open. My apologies, I'm getting bombarded with messages. Because I'm dead popular. Um, yeah, it's just... For like, I think I paid like £1.20 for free donuts. And they, they just taste really nice. If you like your donuts, and you've got an Astonia, give them a go. Because I know some supermarkets stock a Krispy Kreme, which for me is probably my favourite sort of... Um, brand... What's it called? What's it called? Not brand... But, I know it's like a mainstream company, <clears throat> but you can never go wrong with Krispy Kreme Donuts. Never had anything from Dunkin' Donuts, though. Although, a few of them have popped up uh, here in the UK. I think they have been here for a couple of years now. Um, I know Tim Hortons. Get a nice coffee shop, branches, brands, whatever. Franchises. There we go, franchise. We'll use franchise. It's not the word I wanted to use initially, but we're just going to stick with it. Yeah, there's even a Tim Hortons. And I've seen that in Manchester. So I need to go there so I can see if it falls in line with uh, what my wonderful Canadian friends think of. Mm. 
But yeah, those donuts are absolutely spot on. Especially for supermarket budget donuts. Anyway, let's have another taste of beer. Washes it down really nicely, actually. So, let's have a little taste. There's chocolate sprinkles going everywhere. That goes so well. The coffee tones just counteract that sweetness of the the chocolate and vice versa. Mm. This is so good. I love it when things like this come together. But I think it was a uh, it was dead set that this combination would work. Maybe just a simple glazed donut might have worked a little bit better. But I think that roastiness and that coffee extract actually complements the, the the chocolate perfectly. Let's just get a big bite of that gloopy goodness. Fucking why that's good. Mmm. I hate being fat. But I love being fat at the same time. Because I get to try this. That's, it's a winner. Absolute winner. Complements each other perfectly. Sometimes when you eat food and drink beer, the beer just becomes bitter. Um, and I find that a lot when people, when you have a lager with a curry, you're not getting the flavour of the lager. You're just getting like, it's just like having a beer. Do you know what I mean? To complement the food. It's better than a soft drink. But um, yeah. Beer itself, really damn good. I like that a lot. Um, I give that an 8 out of 10. Uh, in terms of the success of the pairing, um, it's a match made in heaven. I think that's why they've they've made it. I don't know if it's supposed to be paired with donuts or they're just going for that Dunkin' Donuts coffee vibe because I know Dunkin' Donuts coffee is actually quite highly regarded considering that you know, it's a big chain. Chain, that's the word I was looking for. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. That is awesome. I knew it would work, but... Mm. Don't rub chocolate into your skin. Anyway, so a resounding success. And the beer's damn good as well. So if you tried the beer, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. What's some of your favourite food pairings? What's some of your favourite donuts? Are you a fan of Dunkin' Donuts for both the coffee and the donuts? What's some of your favourite donut places? Uh, it can be indie, it can be local, it can be a chain. And yeah, if any of my friends and fellow beer chivers have reviewed this, then uh, I'll put the links down below. Check out Harpoon as well. Check out Beer 52. And uh, of course, check out Dun Dunkin' Donuts. Let's give them a shout out as well. Anyway, thank you for sitting, excuse me, thank you for sitting through this horrific video of me eating on camera. I should do this on Twitch and get paid for it, do you know what I mean? Oh well. Don't say that, Peter, because you'll give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. See you guys later.